actually when I first met him face to face, I was like a bit different from the photos. <laughs> I'm Pia and I'm 28 years old. I'm Nate and I'm 36 and we've been married for two and a half years roughly. Hi, I'm Kay, I'm 32 this year. Hi, I'm Eileen, I'm 25 this year. We've been together for two years. And we are currently engaged. Hi, I'm Jonas, I'm 29. I'm Yang Ping, I'm 26 and we have been married for a couple of weeks. We met on the wonderful platform, uh, Tinder. His first photo didn't actually show his face at all. If this was his photo, his face was like this big and you couldn't even see front on. I uh, honestly thought she wouldn't be that into me. She was like an artsy girl and there were very large intimidating black men in her photos. So I assumed she was into black dudes. We met on OkCupid, she said hi first. <laughs> My profile name's like, what, Kayla's running. But I actually don't love running. So. Yeah, I thought for a long time I was like, he loves running, but I don't love running. So how? <laughs> what if later he want to run together, but I don't want to <laughs> run? Yeah. We met on Coffee Meet Bagel about two years back, somewhere in uh, mid June. My first impression <laughs> of her was she looks uh, kind of familiar. I like seen her in the same course. So I actually cited him because I recognized him. So I thought he was a catfish. Because I remember he was attached in school. Actually, his first photo was like him smelling a flower. And it's just very weird for a guy to put that as a profile pic. So I normally judging from the start. Yeah. So hers said, tell me two truths and a lie. I said, now you seem a lot more interesting than most on Tinder. Uh, one, I'm six foot five. Two, I used to be a diplomat. Three, I'm really good in bed, ha ha ha. Sorry, I had to, you wanted two truths and a lie. I replied with the GIF or GIF, however you want to pronounce it, and I said, lie, used to be a diplomat. Or maybe number three is the lie, but you just don't know it yet. Our conversation is actually quite short. short. There was a period when my, I didn't reply her. So, <laughs> I, I need to, like, months to reply my message. I was quite thankful that she replied. <laughs> because I saw in his profile and he was saying that he was working as a scheduler so I was like what's a scheduler? So it went something like hello I'm just curious what does a scheduler do? Hey you know the stuff you watch on TV like the promos and commercials and all. I determine the order of what it uh, comes up first etc. Actually at that time like, I didn't really understand what he was saying but I just pretend. <laughs> I made the first move and I asked her how's your day <laughs> and I told her that she looks kind of familiar and maybe I met her in NUS before. I say yes, yeah, I'm from NUS and I recognize you, that's why I connect. I'm on Tinder only for the sole purpose of looking for the love of my life. Right? So am I. What a coincidence. Do you think we could get married one day? To us, it's kind of weird that we actually spoke about we joked about getting married on the first conversation. Yeah, it was funny. Then we ended up getting married about just over 18 months later. And our life is still very similar. I oh mean, yeah. We still joke about stupid shit. And we still send each other gifts. Plenty. Of gifts. Gifts. <laughs> oh lol. Uh, sorry for the late reply. I hardly come on okay, Cupid. So and this was like seven days later. And I replied like, within a few hours. Oh no worries, are things better now? As in, are you still mad busy? Yeah, then I just like, ghost. <laughs> Until <laughs> May. So it was February 24th, right? Then you replied in, on May 18th. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I still reply. You got a lot of like cheesy pickup lines. I was traveling to work in the morning and I asked her, what are you having for breakfast? What's on your breakfast menu? And she said like she's having this and that. I told her that my menu is like me and you. So when, when we were talking on the app, right, we actually have this like, sort of like competition. See who has the best pickup line. Yeah. That's why I think mine means that. Eh. Roses, Roses are, are red, red yeah. violets are blue. We will click start to be my player. Yeah, too. correct. We met two days <clears throat> after we had that first conversation. It was um, a bar slash restaurant. Really yeah. nice one. Did you remember what you said? Yeah, I said, do I look like my photos? <laughs> Of course, you need to See? know. You need to know straight up, right? Like if you'd already had the conversation. What if I said no? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't hang around if I didn't have my photos. Yeah, we we ended up hanging out with each other five the next days? five days. Five days, yeah. Straight. It felt like as if we've known each other for a very long time. Mm. Actually, when I first met him face to face, I was like, a bit different from the photos. <laughs> like your photos, you were a bit slimmer, right? Huh? No. Were you? 
angle lah. Uh, maybe. Angle lah. So yeah. <laughs> it was quite late. I was like, I must well go buy Yakun. Right? I ordered Tasty Pain. Then the auntie like got me Tasty Hot. So I was like, like stirring right. And I saw this girl walking towards me. And like, hey, is she ever finished? <laughs> I was like, why does this uncle want to drink beer then still drink this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> After the Yakun thing right, we went to get beer. At cheers. At cheers. Then yeah. after that, we just strolled to the bridge, bridge to talk. I asked her out after one month of chatting with her on the app, and I decided to ask her out for a dinner at the sushi bar. It was very friendly. I was quite surprised because I didn't talk to him at all in uni, yeah. so it was a pleasant surprise. When I go out for other dates, right, you really have to think about topics to talk about with the guy, that kind of thing. So with him, it's like more effortless. We knew that we very early on that we were destined to be soulmates, maybe like three, four months into the relationship. I convinced Pia to come down and stay with me in Bali for a month. We didn't argue or anything the whole time, we got yeah. along very well. Yeah, it felt very natural mm -hmm. and not forced at all. Maybe like around three months in. Once uh, we were quarreling, then she, she said something like she cannot see herself with anyone else. And I was like, wow. <laughs> and that's my after lah, like, okay, okay, you're really the one, eh? We dated for about one and a half months before I know that she's the one that I want to be with. Pia's parents didn't want us travelling together, not being married, and they'd said to us, why don't you just get married then? So we actually <coughs> just decided that we were engaged. We turned to each other and just said, okay, I guess we post a photo on social media and say we're engaged. I mean. Fiance, fiance, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I remember telling him before that like when you propose to me, I want to look nice. It was a bit stressful. She said she wants a recording of it. Then her friends said that they want to be inside. They huh? How? But it was a very job well because I really didn't suspect anything at all. It, just <laughs> <laughs> it was somewhere in late November that I brought her to Sydney, Australia. And I told her that, uh, okay, we're going to see this uh, Mrs. McGuire chair in the Royal Botanic Gardens. So I was like, uh, asking my sister and her boyfriend to actually take a couple picture with us. So suddenly, yeah, I got on my knees and popped the question. I totally saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw it coming. I, I know the when, but I just didn't know where. When you popped the question, right? You spoke so softly. So I told him, again? Again? Uh, so I actually, yeah, actually repeat like, the question like three times, I think. With dating apps, it dramatically increases the scope of people you can meet. If dating apps were not around, we would never have met. He was not even living in Singapore. He was on the way, moving between countries. There was no way that we would have met. And there used to be a lot of like uh, stigma like <laughs> against people who use dating apps. Like people will just think that it's for like hookups or like you know friends with benefit or like one night stand that kind of thing. Once I start working right, it's very hard to know someone outside of work or like outside of your social circle. So I think it really provides me a platform to actually put myself out there and get to know more people. What we like about each other is that we can be ourselves. I think that's the most mm. important thing. Uh, we can talk about anything. Nothing is off the table. Mm -hmm. We really felt very comfortable with him. Uh. Like if we have any like disagreements or any like troubles or whatever, he will make an effort to like communicate and want to talk things through, which is not something that I have experienced before. Uh. She's very detailed in planning our overseas trip. And she's very family oriented and she takes care of me when I'm sick. He really makes me want to be a better person, like be more patient. He really like calms me down. So he's like He's really my anchor, I would say. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this episode. And if you like their stories, leave in the comments down below what you liked about it and also what other stories you want to see next time. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. <laughs>